Hi, welcome along everyone for another one of our videos. Today, we're going to look at one of these. It's a, a gate valve, and for all you use with low pressure systems, this is probably what you've got. Use with combis, you probably won't see any of these anywhere of a combi system. But if you've got tank fed pressure uh, and you've got a hot water cylinder, F and E tank, uh, this is generally the kind of valves you're going to come across. Now, a lot of people have been writing to me, they've got these gate valves primarily in the air and covered and you may have one to turn the hot water off and what happens you go to turn it off and you find this handle is stuck solid it might with a fraction but you can't get it off now let me show you the gate valve now a gate valve as you can see if you look through there you can see the gate gradually closing as I close the valve and the idea uh, with gate valves is that you get a full flow of pressure there's no restriction in the pipe flow because it open, opens the full bore of the pipe that's one of the reasons the primary reason for using a gate valve instead of a stopcock which would restrict the pressure this is supposed to keep that pressure which is only fed from your tank in the loft um, nice and high to the bathroom especially if it's on the first floor uh, you're going to find the pressure uh, isn't a great deal so you can't really have stopcocks you can really cut it down um, but anyway primary problem has been with these gate valves um, the handle stuck now the way I look at it is if you want to get this off by the stop the gate valve you're gonna have to um, use grips on it um, and if it breaks well you know you've lost nothing because it doesn't work anyway and you're gonna have to replace it so if it breaks it means you've got to drain the roof tank down and obviously install another one of these but the way I look on it is go for it and you know what have you got to lose really if it breaks it isn't working anyway is it so the way I've always tried to release these is this a pair of these I always use a pair of footprints um, you don't have to you've got anything else that's simple to use um, but I use it simply because it will clamp around there nicely uh, and what I what I do to try and release a, a stuck gate valve is just gradually turn it a bit and a bit like so. Just get it to move a bit, and then gradually get it to move a bit more. And as it starts to move, just, just keep easing it back and forward, back and forward, and just till it starts to move more and more and more. And gradually, with any luck anyway, not every time, I'm afraid, <laughs> but most times, um, that gate valve will gradually start to free down. Just ease it back, ease it back, ease it forward and a bit more and a bit more until gradually you'll see that gate is starting to close and it's, it's starting to come down. Now sometimes you might find that it doesn't quite close all the way down uh, and you've got it to a position where it's something like that. Um, it's almost down but not quite and it will let by a bit but it may be enough to maybe if you're just rewashing a tap or repairing something because you can open the bath tap and maybe in the basin tap would definitely um, be okay to work on for instance because it would take all the little bit of pressure that was getting through away um, but that's just still sort of a little tip so another thing we mustn't do if you do squeeze this right down with grips and you think you've got it off okay and it's right down don't go pulling it right down any harder because if you do you can snap the gate off inside there and it would be locked off and that's a, a tricky situation because then how do you drain the system if it's shut off <laughs> it's a bit of a headache um, because I've known these to be shut down so hard uh, and when you go to open it again instead of releasing like so uh, the valve stays shut so it doesn't release it stays in there uh, so you can open this as much as you want and the way you can tell is the handle will just keep going and going and going um, it won't actually do anything it won't come to a stop like that uh, it will just keep turning if that happens you shut it off too hard snap the gate and obviously it's locked off if that does happen to you um, the answer is, is to get the tank in the loft drained via a hose stick it in the tank over the top and drain it out into the bathroom or whatever outside suck it out siphon it out drain the roof tank right down that way uh, and then you can undo the top of this valve and renew it there'll be a, just a little drop of water then in the pipe just from there to the tank not much you should be able to deal with that to change it if that happens to you that's the worst scenario but as i say at the end of the day uh, with these gate valves if it's stuck you've got nothing to lose if it's jammed 
and you can't turn it. Uh, you know, what can you do? There's no point putting oil or anything like that, WD-40 or anything else around there. Okay, it won't, it won't do a thing. It's not going to get down inside there. Okay, so it's just another little thing. Um, basically, that's it with the gate valve. Um, why we had them, to say, for full flow, and why they can be a bit of a bloody nuisance, because, say, uh, especially in hard water areas, that gate in there uh, can corrode over, and that's why they often jam. They get all corroded, and you can't move them, especially if they haven't been turned for a long time. They just kind of seize up in place, and the corrosion grabs hold of the, the gate there, and you just can't turn it, it just goes solid. Okay, so it's just a, it's one of those things with gate valves, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good, bad, ugly, <laughs> no, no, they're, they're very okay, but they've got to keep turning them. I mean, if you, if you turn them every so often, uh, but everybody forgets, um, they will keep free. So if you made a point of going to your ring cupboard or wherever your valve is and turning it once every three months or so, um, it would keep it working, but obviously we forget, we get busy, don't we, and it doesn't happen. Anyway, there you are, that is just a little tip from me about the gate valve and try to free it up if it is jammed and you want to get the water off. Okay, that's it from me. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and uh, catch you again on the next one. Thanks for watching. Derek from Fernie Free, usual place for all my stuff. Bye-bye.